It was another warm day across the valley. Temperatures approaching 87 degrees here at our studio in Wessico. And right now, taking a look outside, we're at 73 degrees. Winds out of the south at 12 miles per hour. We're also seeing a little bit of fog forming across parts of the valley. And we're also seeing some high clouds moving in from the east and some low clouds moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. So right now, temperatures around 73 degrees, like I said, here in Wessico. 74 in McAllen, also 73 in Rio Grande City. And temperatures will probably stay in the 70s the next 24 hours. That's because a, cool, a weak cold front is coming into the area. So overnight lows bottoming out only about 70 degrees in McAllen, 72 West go 69 in Harlingen and 72 at South Padre Island with some fog across the area. And right now, uh, we're expecting high temperatures to be in the mid to lower 70s. Warmer temperatures may be in the coastal areas, and that's due to the front kind of a stalling out in the lower valley tomorrow. Winds will be out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's going to be kind of a gloomy day. We could even see some on and off showers through the rest of the day tomorrow. Right now, temperatures sitting at 31 degrees in Amarillo. Really cold air out there. 46 in Midland, 53 in Abilene, 68, Austin, 64 in San Antonio. So definitely some colder air, but that's that cold air will probably stay well to our north as this cold front looks pretty weak as it comes in towards our area. But look, look at future track and showing the possibility of some showers throughout the rest of the afternoon tomorrow. The front stalls out and then regresses back to the north as a warm front for Friday. So temperatures approaching the 80s again for Thanksgiving. But then we see another cold front entering the valley in South Texas by Saturday. So cooler weather in store for Sunday. Monday looks pretty good, mostly sunny conditions. So let's take a look at rain chances. 40% chance of rain throughout the day tomorrow. Then it drops off a little bit for the night, 20% there. 10% on Thursday afternoon for Thanksgiving. And then we see the rain chances increasing again for Thursday night, 0% for Friday. And as we look at those temperatures, bottoming out tomorrow, or actually high temperatures tomorrow, around 74 degrees, 79 for Thursday. We'll see that temperature increase all the way to 91 degrees for Saturday. So it's going to be a really warm day for Saturday, but then we'll see those temperatures drop off again as the secondary cold front comes in. Temperatures around 75 degrees for Sunday and Monday, and then we'll see those temperatures back up around 80 for Tuesday. So let's take a look at future track right here, showing the cold front stalling out in the lower valley. We're going to see the possibility of showers throughout the day. It doesn't look like much uh, thunderstorm activity, but definitely see a lot of cloud cover through the rest of the, the next 24 hours or so. And right now we're expecting those winds to shift to the northeast to the east at 15 to 20 knots at the bay. Seas 4 to 8 feet. Temperature right now around 68 degrees. There is a small craft advisory that just expired for the offshore water. 72 degrees for tonight. Patchy fog drizzle also possible late tonight. We we'll see those temperatures around 74 to 4 tomorrow, especially in the upper valley. It might be a little bit warmer in parts of the lower valley. Temperatures around 10, uh, actually winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Right here is your uh, first one five AccuWeather 70 forecast. Temperatures 79 degrees for Turkey Day. Spotty showers possible, and then we'll see partly cloudy conditions for Friday. It warms up for Saturday in a big way, 91 degrees, your high temperature, and then it cools off a little bit, 69 Sunday morning. Less humid with temperatures around 75 degrees for your high. Also for Monday, 83 degrees by Tuesday. That's a complete look at your first one five AccuWeather 7-day forecast.